It's Python on Hardware Time. Hey, Blinka. All right. A lot is going on. Um, newsletter, Adafruit Daily. We ship these out. If you haven't subscribed, please do. We're trying to get to 10,000 subscribers. I think it'll be the first and only Python on Hardware newsletter with 10,000 subscribers. So uh, this week... It's free. Yeah, it's free. No ads, no anything. Don't share your email address. All those things. I'll get to that in a minute. Um, latest update to Raspberry Pi OS. Um, if you've been waiting, it's here. Download it. There's uh, a bunch of things that make your Raspberry Pi experience better. Um, the 2023 official Raspberry Pi handbook is out. You can download it as a PDF. You can also purchase it if you want to support the Raspberry Pi folks. Um, the weekly CircuitPython community help desk, help desk, help desk, yeah, help desk. video is out every single Saturday. Um, you can ask your questions, um, check it out. If you're looking for um, kind of like open office hours, I guess that's the thing. Like any anything that you're looking to do with uh, Circuit Python, and you want to um, have someone help you out with the code, um, a lot of folks they do projects and then they deploy them later. Um, the person who did the um, Burning Man project with Circuit Python, they were able to get all the help they needed and then went off. And you know you don't have connectivity and everything. So a lot of people have experiences not only just sharing code tips, but things like, oh, here's good uh, best practices for um, putting a heat shrink on wires, or just a lot of things. Like, this is more, than just, to watch out for, more to, than just code. How to keep dust out of your project. So it's uh, monthly, and you can check out um, more information on the blog. Uh, PyCon UK is coming up. It's Friday the 16th through Sunday the 18th. If there's anything there that we see, we'll uh, do a post. Um, there's usually some interesting stuff at these events. Microdot, a lightweight web ser server API for Python and MicroPython. And then we go into the projects and more. We had a little bit of news with like how companies are dealing with the chip shortage. We just did our chip shortage video. Um, and then some of the streams. Um, deep dive this week with Tim, CircuitPython Parsec with JP. The Circuit Python show last week was Radomir. This week coming up is Thea Flowers. So if you're interested in really cool um, synthesizers and Eurorack stuff, uh, Winter Bloom. Um, that loves is that. Going to be a cool interview. And then Project of the Week this week is Minesweeper. It's a game on the Pi Portal Titano with CircuitPython. Fun. So, yeah, if you want to check that out, that's there. And then um, just tons and tons of project news around the web. You can see all the things that people are doing with CircuitPython, with MicroPython, with keyboards. Um, some of the things, uh, Anne is the editor of the newsletter. Um, definitely dialed into what's going on at NASA, because uh, Anne's down in Florida. Um, kind of interesting, you probably saw this, NASA selects the sci-fi uh, RISC-V chip. Yeah, it's just For their cool. ecosystem for future space miss missions. Yeah. Which makes sense. Um, you know, they're probably, like, it makes sense that they probably want an open core in some way so they can do different things. Um, and then they can, like, oh, this is and the they core can we use. Hardened it, you yeah, know, this is the core we to. use, like, who wants to, like, make it space yeah. Space har space harden. It's cool. um, post up some of our videos, some of our projects, and more. It is a super chunky newsletter. You can sign up on Adafruit Daily. We deliver it to your inbox every single week. It's spam free, ad free. We don't share your email address. However, this is the tip I'm going to tell everybody because I'm corresponding with someone right now. They think that their email address was used on another newsletter. And I'm like, well, it wasn't from us, but I can see why you'd think that because everyone in the world shares their email address, everyone lies, everyone's been let down. All there is is suffering online. A lot of it's Twitter, but there's other parts, part, uh, parts online where people suffer. Um, but everyone's been lied to and let down. So I completely get it. We never take it personal. Um, but one of the things um, I suggest is if you're using, I think pretty much you know, unfortunately, it's kind of monopoly with uh, how mail works. But if you're using something like Gmail or something that's based on Gmail, you can always construct an email address. So a lot of people do that. They'll put their name plus like Adafruit and then, you know, at gmail.com. And that's a good way for you to track because we don't share your email address. And um, that's uh, and I would also say, like, put a little like code and date and everything like that. Because if there was ever a data leak, we would want to know that, too. If for anyone yoink email addresses, we would want to hear about that. Um, but that's a little tip that you could do because um, I want to make sure everyone knows we don't do that. 
you have to try really, really hard to get us to send uh, an email. Um, we only do it for orders and stuff like that. That's why we have a separate site, adafruitdaily.com. And that is this week's Python on Hardware. <laughs>